trip to the spa is one of the most relaxing ways to look good and feel good. We're here at Jean de Marie Spa to learn the best ways to keep our skin glowing like it's still summer. I'm here with Everado, one of the top skincare specialists, and he's going to walk us through his favorite facial techniques and things you can do at home. Everado, what do we need to know? Well, today what I'm going to show you is how to clean your skin and how to remove properly your makeup. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to exfoliate your skin, how important it is, and also how to uh, uh, moisturize your skin. I'm going to start removing your makeup, and I'm going to clean your skin uh, twice which is very important. To clean your skin, I'm gonna use uh, a creamy cleanser, which is very appropriate for your skin. And I'm gonna remove your um, eyeshadow with a special soothing eye makeup remover. It is very important to remove your makeup um, night so your skin can breathe. Is it better to use pads like this to remove the Cleanser? Uh, it is more appropriate to do it, yes, because that way you can remove um, the makeup better from your skin. What are the most common mistakes people make when they're cleaning their skin? The biggest mistake they do is just they use the wrong cleanser. If your skin is dry or normal, you use something creamy. If your skin is oily, and then you use a little bit more foamy, more gel. Number two, they don't clean their skin twice, which is very important. Once to remove the makeup and once to clean it? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna analyze your skin to see what products I'm gonna use and to make a plan, what am I gonna do and working on. And you have a good skin also. Thank you. Nah, but we always have to, there is always room for improvement. We always, always. have to take care of our skin somehow, either at home or seeing a professional skincare specialist. So I'm going to exfoliate your skin and I'm going to use scrub. Not necessarily have to use scrubs all the time, but uh, scrub is a good way to exfoliate it. You can make your own scrub at home. Uh, you use a very fine sugar and then you put a honey on it and that will be enough to do it. And then what you do, you do two fingers, go around your face in a circle motions. How does it feel? Great. And then after the extractions, we do a massage, massage your skin. And then after that, we put a mask. And my favorite masks will be something with collagen, elastin, or something with vitamins. What's the best way to really get that glow back and get that summer healthy, happy look? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the best one, but it's, it kind of it goes by individual, but I usually use in summertime, I mean in winter time, you use a little bit more heavier moisturizer. Use like a commercial moisturizer because when you do your own, you're gonna use raw products. And if you induce it like in two, three days, fungus are gonna start growing. When you buy a, a moisturizer on the store, you're looking for something with hyaluronic acid, which is something that holds the moist in your skin. Uh, usually night moisturizers are a little bit more uh, heavier and they have uh, more nourishing uh, ingredients. Um, and for the day, it's important to use something with sunblock. That should be your priority in your regimen. After a facial, it's really good to drink water just because you need you need to keep your skin hydrated. 